Oh, hey, Cam Kesem. My name is Keondra Bryson, better known as Jade in the Kesem world. I'm an alumni from Fresno State and I graduated in 2017. And I'm coming to you today from my home in Atlanta, Georgia. So I know everyone loves to make slime and there are a bajillion ways to go about it. I'm gonna show you some of my easy ways of making it. Uh, I'll also share some alternative ways to make it as well um, with supplies that you can probably find at home or at a local store. So a super important supply that we'll need is glue. I got this giant glue bottle. Look at it, it's like almost the size of my head. And then we also have some magical liquid solution. Look how cool this is. They make it for you now. Um, but this is the activator for slime. You can use anything like liquid starch. Um, detergent works well. So there are tons of different ways. Um, so you don't need this one specifically. But this works great. And then... I also have some clear glue. We bought two of these ones. Um, and then this is my favorite. This is going to be a little color changer. So we're gonna go from blue to purple, two of my favorite colors. Um, and we're gonna play around with this. You can also use like color changing powder or just use some food coloring and play around with different colors. Make it your favorite color. And then one of the last versions of slime that we are going to make today is an edible slime. Fun and you get to eat it. We love a good snack. And so for that, you're gonna need Starburst. I got, again, giant size bag because you know we have to eat some while we make it. Um, you're gonna need some cornstarch. And then powdered sugar, yum. Alrighty y'all, let's go ahead and get started with our first one. So what we're doing now is just adding a half a cup of the all white glue, a little drop of the activator, about a teaspoon, and we're just gonna keep adding the teaspoon until it gets to a stage that we love. Like right now you can see it's a little gooey, still a little slimy, hasn't gotten that nice thickness to it yet. So we just keep adding more of that activator in until it starts to get a little bit more like this where it's holding its form, it's staying together, and we don't have to worry about a super messy bowl anymore because look, we're cleaning it up with our slime. So if you are one of my friends that loves the sticky slime, then you can stop there and stop adding in the activator um, when it gets to the consistency you like. I personally did not love it all over my fingers. It was getting messy. You can see me trying to clean my fingers off with it. So I just kept adding a little bit more of the activator to it until it got to a more consistent consistency where it was less sticky to my fingers but more of that slimy, fun feeling. Um, and that is just a personal preference, y'all. Everyone can have it look a little bit different. And once you get it to where you like, you're done and can enjoy the fun of playing with the slime. And now we're jumping on to slime number two. So for this one, I'm taking our color changing glue, the whole bottle, and dumping it all in there. You wanna make sure you get every last drop because the more we get, the more slime we get to have. And we're gonna do the same thing after you get it all in there. You're gonna take your activator and just start dropping a few drops in. This time I started off with a little bit more, but just a few teaspoons to get you started. And then you just mix it all up, get in there nice and good, and keep going until you get the consistency that you like. We're just stirring it all up. Oh, isn't it such a pretty color? I am seriously obsessed. This blue reminds me of camp, reminds me of, reminds me of messy games, all of that great stuff. Um, and so as you can see, we're still just mixing it all up, getting it to that consistency we like. We wanna be able to really clean that bowl up again because our slime is all sticking together. So if it's still too runny, like it is right here, we're just gonna go ahead and drop in a few more of our activator and keep going until we get it to where we like.
And we did it again. We got it to the right consistency. This is perfect for me. So I'm just gonna enjoy our color change in slime um, and wait for it to turn purple. So now I'm just storing my slime in these nice clear containers that I have. That way I can play with them later, get them out when I'm bored. Look at how fun they are. I'm living my best life right here, y'all. So you can keep them in containers and hold it up for about a week or so, um, and you're good to go. All right, so when you're unraveling your starburst, you can keep them all in the same, in one bowl. I'm gonna separate mine a little bit just so that way I can play around with the colors and everything. Um, and so I'm just gonna drop a bunch into these different bowls and then we will get started with everything else. I think I have an unpopular opinion, but yellow is my favorite Starburst. I know everyone loves the pink or the red, but yellow is so underrated, y'all. This is gonna take me a minute. Let's speed roll this. Right, let's speed this up for y'all uh, so you don't have to watch me do this one by one. But while you're doing it, I'm gonna be playing some music, you can play some music, and then we'll get this all going. All right, we got a bunch done here. This is what my bowls are looking like. And we've still got plenty to snack on later. Um, so what I did is about 15 to 20 pieces a piece. And so I'm going to drop them all into the microwave for a little bit to get them um, soft and melted. You can also do this over water, um, but if you're going to be boiling or using the stove, check with your parents first. Um, but you can just drop them in the microwave for about 15-20 seconds, stir it up until it's nice and melted. So do that and we'll be right back for all of your beautiful starbursts and then we will get started with making our slime. So close! So now that we got it out of the microwave, we are taking our Starburst, you gotta let it cool for a little bit, don't burn your fingers, um, and we mix together our cornstarch and our powdered sugar, about a fourth cup of each, um, and we're just playing with the slime, pulling it apart, stretching it, and getting that mixture all mixed in, and that's gonna make it the fun texture that we want it to be. It's also gonna make it taste really good. Three, done. Thank you for helping me make some Starburst slime and join me along the way. I'm gonna keep playing and snacking and enjoying this slime. All right, y'all, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me and making some slime. Make sure that if you're making your own slime that you post it on social media, tag us so we can see all of your fun creations. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in our next programming. Have a great summer.